Hello, my name is Chloe. I'm a threat analyst here at WordFence, and today I'd like to walk you through what the exploitation of the ultimate add-ons for Elementor plugin vulnerability and Elementor Pro vulnerability would look like. And I'd like to show you how these two vulnerabilities were used in conjunction by attackers to compromise sites. Now, before I begin, I'd like to just go over a couple of things. I'd like to show you that I'm running Elementor, Elementor Pro version 2.3.9, ultimate add-ons for Elementor 1.2.3.1. Uh, we only have one user account right now, which is admin, and user registration is disabled on this site. So the first vulnerability we're going to exploit is the ultimate add-ons for Elementor plugin, because this is how attackers were gaining their initial subscriber level access on sites. And just to show you, all a page needed was a widget enabled. It didn't need to be the registration form widget, just any widget. And so I created this page that just has a heading widget on here from the um, Ultimate Add-ons by Elementor plugin. And this gives us everything we need in order to create a new subscriber level user. So now I'm going to go ahead and log out of the site. And now we're going to access the page just like a normal user with no authentication. So everything we need to create a subscriber level user is in this page. And just to show you the request real quick before we begin, what we need is a data widget ID, a usable nonce, and the page ID which I already have filled in here. So we'll go back to the page and view the page source. And first I'm going to find the nonce that we need take this form nonce paste it in our nonce field and then we're going to find a usable data ID all right we have one right here copy this paste it in the right field send and we have our success true successfully registered even though there's no registration enabled on the site now let's go ahead and try and log in with this new account. There we go. You can see that we have logged in successfully as subscriber. And now we can take this a step further and exploit the vulnerability in Elementor Pro. So for the Elementor Pro vulnerability, uh, attackers could create a zip file from one of the trusted icon sources. Uh, Fontello is one of them. And what you would need to do is download a copy of the web font. And I already have this ready to go here. And so you download the zip file and then what the attacker would need to do is extract the zip file. So we have that here. And then inject any uh, files that they wanted to into that uh, extracted folder. And so I'm going to copy this icon backdoor PHP file. And just to show you what that looks like, here you go. So basically, it's just going to display on the page. This is our PHP file. Bad things can happen here. And I'm going to show you what this looks like from your site in a few minutes. And so you just copy that, paste it in the extracted folder, and then you'll want to rezip this as, a, as an attacker. And so you have this final product right here. So the next thing we need to do is upload the zip file. And so I have a request ready to go here. And it's just an Ajax request. This is a zip file that I just created. And we go down, we have our actions, and then we need to grab a usable nonce as a subscriber. So let's head back over to the site. Just go to the dashboard, view page source. We'll just look for a nonce. And so we'll snag this Elementor common config nonce right here. Copy that. Paste it in the nonce field. And then we need to get some subscriber cookies to add here. So I'm just going to go over to my proxy. Drill down. Just grab our subscriber cookies right here. Paste it in the cookie field, and then we'll send the request. 
and then we get this response which is a success true 200 which means that our zip file was successfully uploaded and extracted so let me go ahead and take you to that on the site and in order to access the newly uploaded zip uh, content we would go to wp-content forward slash uploads slash elementor slash custom icons and it since this is the first custom icon upload for sure uh, you go to negative one and then I'm going to access the file that I injected which is icon backdoor.php and here we can see that the PHP content is echoed to the page. This is our PHP file. Bad things can happen here. And so what attackers are doing is uploading these backdoors and then accessing these backdoors to gain access into your site's backend and doing all sorts of different things. Um, from what I have seen in reports, it looks like they're removing the initial backdoor upload and uploading a new backdoor somewhere else in the site. Um, the common one we're seeing is wp-xmlrpc.php, so keep an eye out for that file. Um, the good news is that both plugins are up to date and contain security patches, so we highly recommend updating to the latest versions immediately. This is definitely an interesting uh, case and scenario, and it, you can really see how clever attackers are and how they can combine several vulnerabilities to achieve one goal and sometimes go under the radar for a little bit while they're doing that. Um, so just a reminder to keep everything up to date. Uh, disable user registration if you don't need it, because even if um, you didn't have the ultimate add-ons for Elementor plugin. Uh, if you had subscriber level registration enabled on your site, it would still be possible to exploit this vulnerability. So I definitely recommend disabling that if you can. And make sure you are running a web application firewall like WordFence to help keep you protected when these vulnerabilities are discovered as new firewall rules are released to users as soon as possible.